Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Peter Zimpardet with your morning beach walk video. We ran out of some air time, we did too many lives on the different platforms, and now our air time is finished early and we got night time expressed. So I'm a little bit late with the videos, I'm sorry. See you guys um, at the Estuary Mouth. Watercolors here at the Estuary Mouth is beautiful this high tide today. I did some spins here with a copper color Toby 28 gram. I didn't get any nibbles. Let's zoom in a little bit and show you the watercolors. Look at the color line over there. Good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Peter and Pardet with your morning beach walk. Didn't get much video footage of Pardet yesterday. We were too busy fishing and playing. I didn't get the camera out. I'll try and get some video footage of her today. Beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Focus doesn't want to sharpen up. Anyway. Burrowing geese. It's a while since I've seen so many together here. Yeah? What a beautiful sighting. There's some flamingos. And we've got some hippo somewhere around here. But the water's high at the moment. There they are. Okay, let's explain the dirty water to you guys as soon as it's low tide the volume of the water coming down from Catalina Bay pushes through the narrows pushes out of the estuary mouth and because it pivoted to the north it pushes it right along the coast all the way to Ingwe Beach so in low tide you'll find dirty water all the way to Ingwe Jabula Beach whether the wind is blowing south easterly or northwesterly doesn't matter the tide pushes right into the wind that's the amount of of water flowing out of the estuary mouth currently that said it's not utilized to get the gunk out of the system so it's just about it's just powder going out it's not heavy clay on the northern side, we, on the southern side, we can see the sandbank being built to the north or building up to the north and that is what pivoted the estuary mouth to the north the swash and wash effect out of the estuary mouth is going far north against the northeasterly wind and here in front of the boardwalk we find the color line of the water pushing north there we can see that's about where the wind blocked it on the outgoing tide now if the tide comes in again it will stop plug up the, the, the estuary uh, by way of um, water retention the pushing tide will stop the water from flowing out and then the north westerly wind will blow this dirty water south and the guys are catching fish shared here on the color line Mantla is fishing here with his little rod the tide donated on behalf of the channel I'm still short 650 rand on that, that donation, but anyway, uh, now we can watch somebody fish legally 
without any problems and it's into shed there nope no you missed it maybe the next cast wise but I object somebody's rod because I took mine home the wind was blowing too much I didn't think I was going to come back to the beach so I left but did at home to go to shop right and I got hijacked by the whale train landed back on the beach without my rod and my dog was when it hasn't got anything there this time one last casting on this side guys if you think I'm wasting your time on the video you <laughs> you're welcome to to end the video now I'm not wasting your time people say they want to see people fishing so that's what we're doing we're watching people fishing looks like Mandla is not into something He's got something. He's got a shed. I replaced his treble hook with a single hook on his lure. That one looks too small. He's going to return it. But Mandla doesn't look too small. I would have kept that one, but okay, the ones on the beach look very good, bigger. So he's probably getting bigger shed. Wiseman hasn't got anything yet. Uh, Wiseman uh, find us into one. What's your problem? I say, why are you taking us a photo? Am I taking a picture of you? No, 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 no. No, it's in fuck off. Oh. No. Wait with me now. Mandla's into another shed there and he's pulling And there's you got one. Yes, Mantla's got one. is into a nice shed there and it's on a six foot rod with a eight pound line and it's a cheap lucky strike lucky strike or lucky's rod with a um, what you might call it on a Shakespeare look at that beautiful size shed Nice one, wise man!
And Wiseman is into another nice one there. And this one is giving him a, the, a run for his money. Ah, he got it out. They've got a single hook there on a Toby Lure. And it looks like they're sizing it, they're judging the size. Ah, that size, okay, it's going home. And Wiseman is into another one. I think that will be his last one for the day because it looks like Ocean Commotion wants to come and beach. That one is giving him a nice fight on that little six foot rod. Eight pound line. It got off. <laughs> that one is going home. Sorry Wiseman. And just after that one Wiseman is into another one. Oh, that was a miss and Wiseman is into another one maybe that one will be coming home Ocean Commotion is not coming home yet so Wiseman has got the opportunity to land that one Uh, it's a nice size one that, so it's going home. Look how easy the hook comes out. Because it's a single... See that guys? It's a single hook on the Toby Lure. So guys, I was on the beach making a video of Wiseman catching shad for us for the channel. So that we can just have some excitement because there wasn't much coming else coming out today. And some of the sponsors has uh, <laughs> tasked me to make some fishing videos. So I have to oblige. But there was this one gentleman. Every time I put, pick up the camera and I want to make a video, he walks in front of the camera and tells me I'm not allowed to make a video. And every time I tell him to leave me alone, I'm working. Every time he harassed me. And the more I tell him to stay out of my, my space, the more he harassed me. So um, <laughs> I think I'll be needing some bail money, guys. Um, if you want to, I uh, can be very friendly on the beach, I can help you make your traces, I can help you show you the view, the fishing spots, everything, but you interfere with me while I'm working. I walk 6 to eight, 10 kilometers a day, I'm tired, I don't have a proper diet, I don't have vitamin supplements that I should have on my age. The shad only bites for a couple of minutes a day. Or that fish is only on the line for that couple of seconds. If you interfere with me while I'm working, rest assured, you're going to awake the demon in me.